welcome back everybody, our faithful viewers, our students of Arabic. We have another great lesson today as always. And today we're going to, dis uh, we're going to have a, the lesson is uh, from our instructor, um, Hamman. Uh, he is going to give us a lesson on mistakes, common mistakes that foreigners make, uh, second language uh, learners for Arabic, what they, uh, what they say. And sometimes these, these can land us in situations that are pretty embarrassing, actually. I know I've, I've made a lot of mistakes myself. That's normal. But we're going to give you some common mistakes, and we're going to divide this up in two parts uh, so you can see some of these mistakes. But uh, first, Muhammad, um, Ahlan Ahlan uh, What do we have? What do you have for us today, Muhammad? Uh, that they uh, use wrong. أول إشي عنا بعض الناس خصوصا اللي بتعلموا جديد المبتدئين بيحكوا عن أنا كبير بيحكوا أنا قديم. Okay, so basically students, new students, you do this all the time. In English, we say I am old or he is old or whatever. Um, literally, that is قديم or قديم قديم or قديم. Uh, the problem is, this is only used for things, right? صح. Yeah, so you can say, the camera is old, or the car is old, or my car is old, but we can't use this for humans. So, the proper way to say it for humans is... Ana kbir. Ana kbir. Okay, so ana kbir. Alright, now kbir, does it have another meaning to it as well, Hamad? Uh, kbir. Other than just old? Kaman uh, big. Big, yeah, yeah alright. Something big. Yeah, oh. so somebody who's maybe... Like tall or big, uh, mish, like this, mish not somebody, muscular. Uh, something, mish insan. Okay. Yani mish lal ashkhas. All right. So it's only for people for age, Aywa. but for things big. Bizzat. Okay. Me, me, me. All right. Now they do say he's got a big head. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> possible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's a whole other story there. But anyway, sabah, this, this one here, what is this one? Sabah al fool. Okay. So uh, if I say Sabah al khair, you can say for friends, you can say Sabah al fool. Al fool. All right. So here's we have what we have, folks, is fool. That's actually something we eat. Bizzat. Yeah. The Egyptians, they love fool, Mishik. Uh huh. Uh, you like fool as well? Tabah. All right. Good. Lazim nahki Sabah al fool. Uh huh. Fool yani word. That's no, right. No, I mean al word. فصباح الفل مش صباح الفول. Okay. Is there a shed on that lamb as well? Oh. All right. So صباح الفل. Let's say it. Say it the correct way. صباح الفل. صباح الفل. All right. So no long vowel here. That's different. Uh, or else we'd be saying uh, morning of beans. <laughs> that sounds pretty funny. Yeah. Morning of goodness. Morning of beans. <laughs> All right. How about the next one? Uh, البنات اللي بتعلموا عربي uh, في منهم بيحكوا أنا لابسة make up right. يعني wearing make up yeah. بس إحنا بنحكي حاطة make up alright so girls لابسي. American girls because they're going straight from English بالضبط. most of these mistakes come from English you, uh, the, doing a strict translation so لابسة Meaning, I'm wearing makeup, but in in, in Arabic, lab say can only be used for clothes. Bas awai. Yeah, Ayy. only for clothes. You can't uh -huh. say it for makeup. So this literally means what? Hatta means she is pudding. Pudding. Oh. All right. So literally means she. I I have. I am putting makeup. Or I'm wearing makeup. Um, that's kind of how they say it. I'm. I have. Or I have, putting. It's hard to give you a direct translation, but it basically means I have put makeup on. You know, like I currently am wearing makeup. Uh, that's what it means. But it's from the verb hot, which means to put, or he put. Mm -hmm. All right, what well, the next one? The uh, fourth uh, 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 mm -hmm. the smartphones. بيتعلموا yeah. عربي بيحكوا تليفون شاطر وبترجموها ترجمة حرفية yeah. فبالعربي لازم نحكي سمارت فون مش تليفون شاطر yeah. uh. So people try to say شاطر is an adjective for a person who is smart It just means smart شاطر smart uh -huh. We can't say smart for the phone okay? So that's what Muhammad's um, saying You actually, what they do is actually say smart phone 
So that's it. It's just write from English. بالزبط. They actually use the English. Smartphone. Yeah. All right. عندنا كمان في ناس بيحكوا شعبان بدل شبعان شبعان يعني أنا أكلت وشبعان أم فوق بيحكوا شعبان شعبان هو شهر قبل رمضان أوكي فهاي غلطة من الأغلاط alright okay so if you have and if you have this one here it's a month from Ramadan if you want to say you're full, people mix up sometimes. They take the ba, what you're saying, take the ba, and they put the 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 ba here. I mean, they put the ayn in front of the ba. What it actually should be shab'an, shab'an, which means full. From the verb um, uh, shib'ah. Shib'a. Uh -huh. uh, shib'a. So, anyway, shab'an, I am full. What's the next one? كمان عنا الجو سخن. الجو سخن يعني the weather is hot بس ما بنحكي سخن سخن بس للأشياء أو للأكل أو مثلا للسيارة لما تحط إيدك على السيارة بس بالشمس بتكون سخنة فما بنحكي الجو سخن الجو بس شوب يعني هاي الكلمة drinks للجو things or like a jihaz, it's very hot. You know, if you turn on, a, let's say your phone, you've been working your phone for a long time, it gets hot, they would use sukhan for that. Uh -huh. But uh, shob is for people. Uh, uh, shob uh, or for the gel. Bas al yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, shoban. Yeah, you could say, shoban yeah. Yeah. min shob. Shoban. Lada. But shob itself, shob is an adjective only for the gel. For the, uh, basically, gel means weather. Bizarre. The weather. All right, so. Understand, we've got a lesson on this if you want to see it. Christine is in that lesson. Uh, I'll put the link here on this video and you can go check that out if you'd like. On Sukhan, Shob, and all these. So you can see that. All right, what's the next one? Al-Gahwe Shob. Al-Gahwe Shob zay al-Jaw Sukhan. Kharbata. Bikharbata bain Shob and Sukhan. Al-Gahwe, ma bnihki Shob, al-Gahwe bnihki Sukhne. Mm -hmm. So going back to this here, they switch it around the opposite and say, the coffee, al gahwa, is shob. Well, that's that's actually wrong. You can't say that. Uh, the gel is shob. The weather's shob. But for liquids, you have to say sukhan or sukhne. So al gahwa, sukhne. There's your lesson. So check these out. Study them a little bit and avoid, you can avoid making these common mistakes that uh, many foreigners make. Thanks a lot, Muhammad. Shukran, yatik al Thank you, and we'll see you again next time.